AI is taking over the world. In pop culture, the trope that robots are going to take over the world and turn the earth into a bleak dystopia is used on the daily, especially nowadays with ChatGPT. But in engineering, product design, architecture, the idea of robots taking over the world is actually a good thing. Well, let me explain. In the days of old, engineering was a very manual process of drawing and running calculations by hand, but as computer-aided design, known as CAD, grew in prevalence throughout the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, engineering became a lot less manual and a lot more automated. As of the last several years, something known as generative design has popped up. Generative design is essentially the precursor to robots taking over the world in engineering terms. Even to experts in the space, generative design is rather novel and completely turns on its head the engineering design process. It's essentially the process of letting computers do all of the engineering for you. As artificial intelligence and cloud computing has expanded in functionality over the years, the ability for computers to take over more and more of the engineering design process is only growing. The onset of practical artificial intelligence like ChatGPT has led the way to functional and usable generative design software, pioneered by one of the industry leaders, Autodesk. This software, essentially in simple terms, means that engineers can say, build this, and the computer just does it. Okay, okay, that's a little oversimplified, but I promise it's just as impressive in real life. Generative design essentially lets engineers step back and let computers solve the hard stuff like loading constraints on a member. It solves the hard stuff in the design process while engineers focus on the overarching design of what they want to accomplish. And this isn't just something conceptual. Companies like Under Armour, Airbus, Black & Decker, and more have used generative design to fully optimize their processes. But what can it really do? Generative design is essentially an AI tool that uses machine learning to mimic a design approach similar to what nature would do. It interfaces with engineers by allowing input design parameters to problem solving, like input where a support needs to be or what shape the object needs to be. If engineers have loads in certain conditions, need to maintain certain material thicknesses, or even keep certain costs, all of this can be fed into generative engineering design tools. After engineers press run and let the algorithms do their thing, they're left with generative designs that meet their input criteria. From there, engineers can cycle through, pick which design is the most optimized for end goals, and modify from there. In essence, it takes engineers down a digital shortcut to optimizing the perfect design. Generative design has actually been around for several years, much longer than ChatGPT, the language-based AI. It's been on the forefront of engineering technology for some time now, showcased in Autodesk's Fusion 360 platform, and companies have been taking advantage of this technology. Notably, Airbus used generative design to redesign partitions in their aircraft. The result was impactful light weighting that cut 45% of the weight of the part, which is a big deal in aircraft design. But generative design isn't just about product design. Architects are even using it to input building constraints and how many people it will house and what the air conditioning limitations are, and it will design the perfect space with the perfect lighting and the perfect amount of room and the perfect number of bathrooms, everything. AI can design buildings now. Examples of generative design being used in this way are becoming way more common than you might think, as the tool is already several years old and being further integrated into workflows for engineers. The way products and everything around us is being made is continually being augmented by programs and AI, and they will shape everything about our future. The future of making things is moving forward at a blistering pace.